Chug, 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 chug. Hello and welcome back to the Croak and Crow podcast. I am Spencer Cardia. I am Miss Print. Miss Print. Like a misprint? Yeah. Like you messed up? Yeah, maybe. Oh. <laughs> and this here is Frank, ready for lifeguard duty. Okay. I feel safer. I, I feel a lot safer. Um, what Baywatch? You know who I bet he dates? The um CPR dummy. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Um, well, it's perfect for that because it is June tenth and it is National Bay Day. Really? B A E. So oh. his Bay is a little CPR oh. dummy. Okay. <laughs> you know what Bay stands for? No. It's an acronym. No, I never knew that. Before anyone else. Really? Yeah. Before anyone else. People like thought it was short for babe or something. Yeah, that's what I thought. No, B A E. Before anyone else. And Frank thinks that about the CPR dummy. Okay. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> Staying alive. He knows he knows the motion. Um <laughs> How you guys doing? It is a beautiful day in June. Um, end of the week podcast. Um feeling we 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 forgot. Wednesday was our three hundredth podcast. Oh, was it? Yeah. Three hundredth video or podcast? We had podcast. Three... Oh yeah, okay. I just counted the podcast. Oh wow. I know. Time flies when you're having fun. I know. Yeah, when we pass away and perish, there's going to be a long standing um, with digital footprint of us. Yes. You never need to go far to find wisdom from us. Even if the year to you is 2222. Oh, I thought you were talking to the future. You're just talking to people right now. <laughs> no. It's not, you think it's 2222? Oh, <laughs> you're a total hundred years ahead Every of your day, time. Every day. Every day you get me with numbers. 22 uh, yeah, i thought that, no that's 200 <laughs> years from now it's gonna it's gonna be a while okay uh, hopefully i'm not still around because i well, will be holograms or holograms, holograms. will live on will live on well what yeah <laughs> super um super futuristic but we still talk like that <laughs> <laughs> well that's actually true i feel like we'd be prime candidates for like you know when they bring back holograms mm -hmm. and because they can splice we've probably said just near every word yeah. in the english dictionary right so like you know like uh yeah, when you're doing like a voice recording um, software. Yeah, they can make us say anything. And you have to say a bunch of words so they can get different sounds. Guess what I just thought? Because I'm always on the shady side of life. Yeah. You're on the sunny side. I'm on the shady side. Uh, I think I'm like shady. Shady. <laughs> I, I am. Yeah. <laughs> um, we can now use that to our advantage. If any videos ever come out of us saying something that is like untoward or we, you know, we'll just say that was digitally remastered. We have so much out there that obviously you could have pulled up our old stuff. And yeah, well, I'll tell you what. That's true. Because you see these deep fakes that I they know. make of like Vladimir Putin or Joe Biden. And or Tom Cruise. Not Tom Cruise. <laughs> yes. um, and they're, they're insane. You would never I know. under a microscope know that no. it was fake. So on one hand, oh, no. On the other... Now we're all free to do what we Speaking want. Speaking of things that can be faked and it's like, that's not me. Why are we still doing signatures? Oh, I don't know, but like, so I don't have my life. I just got my license this very second. Yeah. And um, the signature scroll is horrendous because, you know, that stupid. It looks like, a, um, okay, just right here. It doesn't yeah. matter what it looks like. Yeah. So, of course, it's nuts. Now, the good thing is that's how that is how you sign. Uh, so it will always match. But it is absolutely horrendous and... It makes no sense. Like, why are no we sense. still doing... You know, like, when something is outdated, but then you keep trying to pull it forward, even yeah. though... Yeah. Like, if you try to, like, like make an electronic typewriter, and it's like... Yeah. It, like, you, when you're doing online documents, it's doing e-signature. I know. And you write your name, and it turns it into... But it's like, what is the point anymore? I don't know. There's no point. You can copy it. There's you not. Can, you can... You can do it with obviously without you can do it wrong it's like it's the same thing as swearing in in court do you swear to tell the yeah. truth the whole truth yes i swear it's just one of those things where it's, it's like one well, of those things well you said it. well you signed because it you used to swear on the bible and people yeah. i guess took it seriously now i don't even think they say that anymore you swear to the they United do States say of America? that you'll be charged with perjury if you lie whatever but i mean the whole swearing thing the whole signature thing the whole honor system thing yeah no honor amongst thieves that's anymore. right. That's right. So the good guys are doing it and the bad guys are like, yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. Ain't that the truth? And in the oldest days, um, when I say oldest, I just mean like in the 20s, um, people who, who couldn't write, you know, yeah, whatever that's called, uh, they would sign with an X. 
So ah. sign here and they'd sign with an X, right? Because they, they didn't know how to write their name. Yeah. And it was so shameful. And it was like, oh my gosh. But literally now we've reverted back to that. Like, yeah. because like, look at a doctor or even look at me. I used to, I had Catholic school penmanship perfection yeah. and then it kind of like deteriorated to now I just do and it never matters. I like what they do in some Asian countries. I mean, they used to, and I think they still in Japan, like if you were buying a car, you get a custom stamp. I love it. Isn't that cool? I love it. And so you like, if you're going to buy a house or you don't do your signature. Every single person in the, in the country has their own. I believe so. Really? I believe you like, I would get my, I would get it tattooed on me too. Yeah. And you, you put your stamp. And I think that's pretty cool. I love it. Because you can carry it around. And then stamp on it. And people say that, right? Stamp, uh, stamp of approval. Yeah. Something like that. But um, yeah, guys. So it is uh, National Iced Tea Day. Um, oh. I had a nice glass of Lipton Iced Tea yesterday. Yes. Love me some Lipton Iced Tea. You do. And we talked about the Chipotle um, tractor brand iced tea yesterday. I had to kick some kids out. We were ahead of our time. Yeah. I, I work a little part-time job at the, uh, the local park, mm-hmm. making sure no funny business goes on. And the person I was working with. Had me come with him to kick out nice little kids selling lemonade. No, you're kidding. Yeah, it was awful. It's an awful story. And it's so awful. It's so awful. Why? I don't know. And he was like, because it was, it was it's okay. Don't it was when it. I first started, and he was like, oh, here's something I can show you because there can't be money exchanges in okay, the park. Right. And so we go over, and I just have my head down in shame. And he's like, I'm sorry. And they were like so accepting, but they were putting out their sign, two little boys and their mom. And I'm like, I wish I, I wish I, 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 I can't take this story. I, I, I wish I had like a 20 or a 50 on you me and called say, me. let me just buy all of your lemonade. You should have called me. And then, you know, the worst part is the that night, wasn't the worst part. No, the worst part is cause yeah, I was with this guy and then, so he left and then an old man came in cause I was still trained. So I had to be with someone and I was telling the old man's story. And he, he was said like, you could have left it. He was like. Oh, he's like, I would have just let them sold the iced tea. It's like, I would have taken a, a nasty email from the township rather than kick out lemonade. And I'm like, thank you, sir. It's okay. You'll know in the future. They, j- It's fine. They just went over to the mall and did it. Like, I know, but it was it was good foot traffic. It's fine. They were no, excited. Not. Stop it. It's <sighs> fine. I, I, you, you can't have a savior complex. That's not a savior complex. Yes, it I was is. A, I was, I was a, you worked somewhere and they said that. And next thing, DDD. Like, um, um, if you're out there, kids, one day when I'm a millionaire, I'm going to buy you the world's biggest lemon. Okay. It'll probably be a gold lemon. I will give you. You know what? This is not a deep fake. I'll give you a fully gold lemon one day. How about that? Um. All right, guys. On to nicer and better things. Um. Because, yeah. Um. It is Friday, and on Friday, we've been doing a little something special uh, every week for the past 18 years, <laughs> and um, that is we have a thing called Dr. Seuss Friday. So essentially what Dr. Seuss Friday is, is we pick a book from the repertoire of Theodore Lesig. Nope. Theodore Geisel, <laughs> um, aka Dr. Seuss. Right. And we read it out loud on our podcast, a Christian podcast for adults reading Dr. Seuss. Why? And I'm going to tell you why, because we really like Dr. Seuss. We really like Theodore Geisel and we think he's really smart and he captivated the minds of children for generations and generations to come. Why? Because inside his wacky books with fun characters and silly illustrations, there are deep meanings that can put children on the right path. The importance of that spiritual is the importance of children they have malleable brains jesus loved children because they were innocent right and they weren't corrupted by the world just yet yeah and so i think it is just due time that we go back with our big adult brains read these books get the meaning and use them for once stop letting the earth and the worldly things turn us into what we call adults oh right well how about how about we get childish brains once in a while because we're all children of god i'll tell you that much right yeah, now right children of god we're going to read a children's book and we're going to get adult meaning from it that's maybe we will <sighs> okay. well, well we will so today we're reading a book that i've never heard about before okay. the book is called i wish that i had duck feet by dr seuss or is it now this well, book well, well it looks looks a little different to me this book is not by dr seuss Dun, dun, dun. What day is it? It is a. It is by Theo Lesig, not Theodore Geisel. This is Theo Lesig. Who's Theo Lesig? That's what I was going to ask. I'll tell you. 
Theo Lasig is a, another pen name of Theodore Geisel. You know, Dr. Seuss isn't his real name. Theo Lasig is not his first name. Okay. Or it's not his real name. But he uses that on some books. And you may ask why. What's why? the difference? What's the difference? Why? Between... <laughs> we want to know. The difference is if he is not doing the illustrations okay. himself, oh. it is Theo Lasig. Nice little way to keep track. Dr. Seuss, written and illustrated. Theo Lasig, he was a little written tired. <laughs> and illustrated by someone else. In this okay. case, uh, B. Toby. Okay. So, and I, I noticed that, I, though. I, I, I would have to do more research, but I wonder... If, because this is like a book about like humans, yeah, like a, a human kid. Oh, like I can't I, draw that. Yeah, I wonder if it's like unless he's talking about huffle lumps. Yeah, is it then? Okay, well, let me have someone else illustrate right. this because this is not going to be, you know, foxes and boxes. Yeah. All right. So this is. I wish I had duck feet. I mean, don't we all? I do. I can't swim very well. Duck feet. Duck feet. Um, just imagine flippers. Well, like, pretty stable. I'd be stable on my feet. Yeah, stable. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um. And, and yeah. you can swim very well. Yeah. Permanent flippers. Yeah. yeah. The only thing is the walking. And the shoes. Well, I imagine duck feet are made to be outdoors. Oh, so you never need shoes. No. <laughs> but like you have to walk and you have to like, you ever see someone walk with those, uh, duck those, feet. those swim flippers? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that, that would be the only downside. Okay. And also probably your day in life. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe not. National Bay Day would be a lonely one for you. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. Here we go. I wish that I had duck feet, and I can tell you why. You can splash around in duck feet. You don't have to keep them dry. Told you. (laughs) I wish that I had duck feet. No more shoes. No more shoes for me. The man down at the shoe store would not have my size, you see. If I had two duck feet, I could laugh at Big Bill Brown. I would say, you don't have duck feet. These are all that there are in town. I think it would be very good to have them when I play. Only kids with duck feet on can ever play this way. But my mother would not like them. She would say, get off my floor. She would say, you take your duck feet and you take them out that door. Don't ever come in here again with duck feet on. No, now don't. So I guess I can't have duck feet. I would like to, but I won't. So if I can't have duck feet, I'll have something else instead. Say, I know what I wish I had two horns up on my head. I wish I had two deer horns. They would be a lot of fun. Then I could wear ten hats up there. Big Bill can wear just one. I think they would be very good to have them when I play ball. Then nobody could stop me. No, sir. Nobody at all. My horns could carry books and stuff like papers, pens, and strings. And apples for my teacher. And a lot of other things. But if I had big deer horns, I would never get a ride. I could never ride the school bus. I could never get inside. And so I won't have deer horns. I'll have something else instead. I wish I had a whale spout, a whale spout on my head. When days get hot, it would be good to spout my spout in school. And then Miss Banks would say, thanks, thanks. You keep our school so cool. I could play all day in summer. I would never feel the heat. I would big, I would beat Big Bill at tennis. I would play him off his feet. But my mother would not like it. I know just what she would say. Not in my house. You shut that off. You take that spout away. I know that she would tell me I don't want that spout about. And when mother does not want a thing, it's O-U-T, it's out. And so I will not have one. I do not wish to be a whale. I think it would be better if I had a long, long tail. I wish I had a long, long tail. Someday I will, I hope. And then I'll show the kids in town new ways to jump a rope. If I had a long, long tail, I know what I would like. I would like to ride down State Street, pulling girls behind my bike. I wish I had a long, long tail, and I can tell you why. I could hit a fly ten feet away and hit him in the eye. I know Miss Banks would like this. She would smile and she would say, No other boy in town can hit a fly so far away. But... If I had a long, long tail, I know that Big Bill Brown would tie me in the in a tree, he would, then how would I get down? I don't think I would like it with my tail tied in a tree. The more I think about it, no, no long, long tail for me. And so, if I can't have a tail, I'll have a long, long nose. A nose just like an elephant's, the longest nose that grows. 
I wish I had a long, long nose, and I can tell you why. I think it would be very good to get th at things up high. Every kid in town would love it, every kid but Big Bill Brown. And every time I saw him, I would sneeze and blow him down. Say, I could help the firemen, my nose would be just right. I could help them put out fires a hundred times a night. Oh, I would do a lot of things that no one ever did. And everyone in town would say, just watch that long-nosed kid. But, if I had a long, long nose, I know what dad would do. My dad would make me wash the car, the house, and windows, too. My dad would make me work all day and wash things with that hose. I guess it would not be so good to have a long, long nose. Now, let me think about it. All these things I want are bad, and so I wish. I wish, I wish. What do I wish I had? I know what. I know just what. I know just what to do. I wish I had all those things. I'd be a witch what who. If I could be a witch what who, I'd jump high in the air. I'd splash and spout and run about. I'd give the town a scare. But the people would not like it. They would be so scared, I bet. They would call the town policemen. They would catch me in a net. They would put me in the zoo house and my horns and nose and feet. And hey, just hey, two times a day is all I'd get to eat. I think I would be very sad when people came to call. So, I don't think a witch what who would be much fun at all. And so, I think there are some things I do not wish to be. And that is why I think I just wish to be like me. Theodore Geisel, you struck again, you <laughs> crazy dog. Um, I liked it. I liked it. The the um illustrations reminded me of Family Circus, which is like an old comic, but I see that it's a different different um illustrator. Uh, but yeah, I really liked it. Yeah, um, I liked it a lot. Uh, how about Big Bill Brown? I know. I, he was he reminded me of like uh <laughs> of Frank. Yeah, Frank. He's not me of Frank. Big Bill Brown was quite the bully. He's a bully. He's bully Brown. Bully Bill Brown. Bully boy Brown. But um, yeah, uh, I I like it. I wish I had duck feet. I think obviously, you know, it gets a meaning out of it. Immediately, it strikes me that you know, if I had this, I would be happy. Or if I had this, I would, you know. Right. Yeah. Trying. Yeah. Trying to be get become. You want to be more unique. You want to be more fantastic. You yeah. want to be. He doesn't want. The bully to he wants to have something over the bully. Yeah, and um, I think you know this is important in life because he had the wherewithal to say the negatives, right? Like yeah, and I feel like a lot of times we we don't do that, right? And we, we say, well, if I had this, I would, I, I would be able to do this like, if I had money, right? Like yeah, if I had money, change the 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 hose, you know, with the dad, yeah, with money instead, and it's like. If I had money, I could go out and buy candy and, and go on trips and stuff. And then the dad was like, but make you wash his windows. And it's like, right. oh, you know, whatever. Well, yeah, but also if I had money, you know, I wouldn't know who to trust. <laughs> you know, right. People would be expecting things out of me. Right. All these things, nothing wrong with, with that. But it's like, it just, you shouldn't only look at things of then I would be happy. Because it all, it, yes. it, yesterday we talked about um, a Bible verse talking about getting married. Right. And it, and it was... uh. Don't worry if you're not married. Marriage brings more worries. Right. And what we came, you know, to terms with was it's fine to get married, but it's just another thing that you also have things to Be worry aware, about. Beware, there's consequences. <laughs> yeah. Or just like there's more on your plate. Yeah. And so that's, right. that's with anything, you know, like more money, more problems. Right. Is a real thing. And across the board, right. you know, like you get a, a bigger job, you have more responsibilities. Right. And um, it takes away from a simple life but yeah oh. yeah it is a really good you're you know what you're correct it's really good for um uh far thinking or whatever that's called like you know not to be nearsighted so yeah. like um think of think of when you just you know if you want want to get back at your bully or something and, and you think well i could do this or i could bring i could bring a knife to school or something <laughs> oh my god it's true right but you if you're short-sighted, now, Theodor Geis, or Theo Lassig is, is telling you, think beyond the first fantastical thought. Like, it would be so great because he'd be so afraid of me and I would have this. And 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 this book is, I find, is saying, right, and then you're going to go to jail 
and then you're never going to see your family again. And then there's going to be more bullies. Yeah. Right? Because with, with the bully, when the one thing, he's like, I'm going to have a tail and he's going to be so jealous. And the bully ends up tying him up with the tail. Yeah. <laughs> so it's being farsighted. Yeah. And uh, yeah. And another thing about it is um, I think it, it, it comes with confidence in oneself. True. At the end, he found that confidence. But what I think is interesting, you know, opposed to all of the other like wacky Dr. Seuss books where it's like you're doing these magical things. Right. Everything he's doing with the, with these uh, crazy characteristics right. are things that he could do with just confidence, right? Oh, like, yeah. Like he, he's playing or uh, look at me play. Everyone's everyone's wants to play with me. Right. Um, you know, um, what's it called? Play, he's carrying stuff. Yeah, and, he's yeah, people, pl- playing mm-hmm. football. Oh, um, what's it called? I'm very good when I play ball. Um, you know, I'm, yeah. I'm carrying girls around <laughs> or I'm pulling girls on, on, on bikes. Like, right. Um, yeah, it's like all the kids would like me and, yeah. and all, all this stuff where it's like thinking that if I had an external quality, like, um, I, you see it with confidence, maybe like in like guys a lot, right. Mm-hmm. Where, where they're like, oh, well, if I looked like that, like it, then, life then would be better. Life would be better. Yeah. If, if I was that height, life would be right. better. And it's like. Well, really, the the most attractive quality in, in both you know friends and, and and jobs and is is confidence. And once right. you're confident in yourself, it doesn't matter that you're not six foot five, you know. Right. And um, you know, you, you, you all the things that he wanted to do, he can do if he was just himself and confident about it. Right. Not standing on the side of the soccer field saying, "Well, if only I had," you know, I don't even know what he had at that point. Horns. Do you think that um? Do you think the mom and dad, like, did they get a bad rap in the book that they're just like fun squashers or they just had to be there because they were, were they symbolizing the reasonable, the unreasonableness of his, yeah, I, th- I think they were, they were, they were his ideas. Yeah, no, I, I wouldn't say they're terrible. I think it was, it was bringing him back to reality yeah. of, oh, if I had a hose, would you really cool off the entire class or would right. you get in trouble for, right. for making the ground wet? And then, right. oh, you have a hose on your head? We'll wash the window. Like, right, right. <laughs> it, it was it was turning a very impractical thought practical. Right, right. Because would, yeah, would you really do these impractical things? Right. Probably not. Yeah. But Yeah, you- like, you know, even when people fantasize about winning the lottery, you're like, I'm going to get this and that. And then and you go like, well, actually, I would probably pay off the bills. Yeah. But, you know, do things to become secure. But it is fun to fantasize, if, you know. If you, were, if you were six foot 11, what's more likely to happen? You know, you, you, uh join the nba or you hit your head on things and you can't yeah, you, you can't find a comfortable bed to sleep yeah. in <laughs> um so it's just bringing things back to reality and um yeah i, I think this book it, it's it's really comes down to confidence in yourself yeah absolutely it, it doesn't and like, you're enough you're enough and like i said i think it, it was smart to not bring up anything that was crazy enough to not be able to be done by yourself right uh not be able to make friends or play sports right, or right. or you know get work done. And another thing is, I, I you know big Bill Brown was a big old <laughs> bully, but I think what's nice about him is same thing with confidence is works with bullies. It's like you think if I did this, like everyone would like me. Right. It's like you'll always have the people coming at, against you. Exactly. And the best thing you can do is be confident in yourself. And avoid them. Right. You see a lot of people try to win over these people. Exactly. Oh, well, then Big Brown will like me or, or be afraid of me. Yeah. If I get big and muscular. And it's like, yeah, Not if you get big and muscular and you beat Bill, Big Bill Brown, Big Bill Brown's older brother, right. Bob. That's the thing. Well, Where's then the... now you're not. And there's no end. There's no end. There so really like, isn't. What you need to do is is worry about yourself. Be happy with yourself and, and yeah. not try to change yourself to make friends or. Yeah make you know have enemies not dislike you anymore and just think you know if someone did have duck feet they would probably feel embarrassed and wish they i wish i had human feet so i can match all all the other kids at school and then you always there's always someone who's looking at you like i wish i was his height or i wish i wish i had their nose or whatever yeah so don't feel down on yourself because there's someone out there who wishes they were you exactly um so yeah so just be happy with yourself um nobody wants duck feet if you have duck feet I'm sorry. Or maybe people do. That's true. Yeah. Just be happy with whatever you have. Um, remember that the the best thing... Because you, you can never get duck feet. You can never get horns or spout in your head. But you can get confidence. And 
my thing with confidence, I think we had an entire confidence podcast. Actually, I'm only going to give you a little bit. Go check that podcast out. But it is something like a muscle where must, some people are born naturally with more muscles. Yeah. Some people are you know, born with naturally less muscles. Everyone can build muscle. Not, right. I mean, you might have like yeah. muscle atrophy or something, but I don't think there's any confidence atrophy. Generally, yeah. And, and so it's something you need to work on. And, and it's easy. The same way with muscle, you can look at someone and say, I wish I looked like that. Yeah. Uh, but I don't have the genetic, genetics for it. You can do the, the same thing with confidence. Where it's like, I wish I was confident, but wasn't in my cards. Right. And that's something that can be changed and can you know make you and so yes don't spend too much time in this downward spiral of well i don't have it so oh well you can get it you can't get duck feet you can get confidence (laughs) yeah yeah remember that get the confidence of a duck get the uh, (laughs) ducks that confident i don't know they're they're confident they won't drown they're so buoyant they are so buoyant what happens if you try to drown a duck uh you could i mean but just generally, he would just... They'd be awful because they could probably hold their breath for real long because they go, go oh, yeah, you're right. bobbing for fish. You're right. Yeah, I wouldn't want to drown a duck. Okay. <laughs> and I'm not going to. <laughs> I feel uh, like by saying I'm not going to, it's like red flags. So yeah, like you might it's going to cross your path that just like kicking out those kids and you didn't want to, you, yeah. you will have to drown a duck one I'll day. I'll have to drown a duck to make up for my lemonade stand falter. Yeah, like, a, like an animal sacrifice. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, yeah, ending the pod, the Christian podcast, uh, talking about animal sacrifice. That's all in the Bible. That's a burnt offering. Yeah. Um, <laughs> all right, guys, go out and enjoy your weekend. Um, if you have a bay, go and bay with her. Down by the bay. Go, go pour a nice glass of iced tea. Lipton iced tea, sponsored in part by us. Um, yeah, enjoy your weekend beautiful day in june we'll be back for next we'll be back next wednesday for another one word wednesday oh fine before we go if you didn't watch yesterday's podcast if you didn't already know we started a new bible bracket for those who have been following us we had an entire bible bracket putting the books up against each other and psalms one psalms one <laughs> did i call it in the first episode yeah eight you know weeks later it won now we're doing something a little different we're just doing new testament books so follow at croak and crow um, we have polls every day and vote for which one inspires you more on that given day. You don't need to overthink. Don't overthink it. We'll do all the, uh, the behind the scenes work <laughs> at Kirk and Co. Follow it. Um, see you guys later. Peace. Bye.